What's up guys, uh, welcome to Top Form for you. Uh, in today's video, I've got the Huawei MatePad Pro and uh, I'm just gonna quickly go through uh, one of the best features. If uh, you were interested uh, how you can use it as a small uh, laptop to perform a simple task, uh, stay with me and uh, at the end you'll know how you can do that. I still believe uh, this is uh, one of the best uh, tablets to uh, have uh, in terms of uh, multitasking um, especially if you can have a Google Play Store installed as I have already done so. Uh, make sure you check my other video if um, you want to have a Google Play Store installed on your tablet as well and uh, all these apps uh, working no problem uh, without any errors uh, without wasting any time uh, so uh, let's get started first i'm just gonna quickly go through the uh, the menu this one has been updated to the latest emui 11. So as you can see there you have all the different uh, uh, features you can use uh, we have uh, the multi-screen uh, collaboration which will allow you to access your huawei phone by uh, sharing the screen on this tablet but the one i'm gonna go through is the desktop mode i'm just gonna quickly go through the changes on emui 11 and see what uh, has been improved okay to access uh, desktop sites uh, just uh, pull down the uh, notification bar at the top and then you'll see the desktop sites so just tap on it and then uh, enter There you go, and uh, that's uh, how quick to switch over. As you can see, the layout is changed. Uh, you have uh, a sort of a desktop version, but, um, and uh, we have the start icon at the bottom, so you just tap on start. You have a, a scroll uh, screen there for all your apps. Uh, most of apps which are compatible uh, will be on that uh, screen. If you have an app which is not showing there, it means it's not compatible with uh, the to run it on desktop sites then you have the settings on there and you have the lock screen and then you can exit uh, desktop site and then on the, on the bottom right uh, we have the little pen where you can bring up the uh, notepad to take notes or anything and then we have the settings uh, area where you can uh, turn your wi-fi bluetooth and uh, take a screenshot a wireless projection it will search for any display which can share the screen display uh, to it and then you got Huawei share which allows you to share file between your devices your screen recording if you want to record uh, anything on your screen and um, you can have the exit desktop mode on there as well in multi-screen collaboration which will allow you to access uh, apps on your mobile phone uh, from this uh, screen and then on the top you have your notification area any notification will appear on the side then here you have the calendar which you can set to monthly yearly weekly or daily and then you can minimize which will give you a nice little floating window which you can move it around and then on the left you have the um, the most recent app uh, icon and then the home screen uh, the home button on the, uh, the home which will take you to the desktop screen and then the back icon on the on there so um, I'm just gonna open a few apps so at the moment I'm using the pencil but you can uh, link uh, uh, a mouse a wireless mouse I've got this Bluetooth mouse so which I'm gonna just pair so i've just uh, put the mouse on pair mode pairing mode i'm just gonna go to the settings then bluetooth and then that the mouse will uh, appear there so i'm just gonna tap on it and then pair there you go at the moment yeah, I, i've got the mouse connected i've got the keyboard and the pencil so i uh, put the pencil there then as you can see a lot of icons there just appear so I can use the mouse as a, a small laptop yeah and uh, just uh, I'm gonna open uh, the browser just just click on all the apps at the bottom you can uh, it's very easy and uh, very useful to have this uh, 
especially when you're on a trip uh, instead of carrying a, a big laptop you can just multitask using this tablet and you don't need uh, any so if you open the browser Okay, now we have uh, that um, as you can see there is a you can uh, just uh, make a small screen or minimize at the bottom and then open uh, something else new documents and then minimize you can open the map Now see you got the map there. And then minimize at the bottom. So all the apps you have running, they will be at the bottom. You can just open that. And then go on to uh, images there. Screenshot. Just download images. And then minimize it. So all the apps you have uh, open it will be at the bottom there and then open that like a notepad and then you can uh, minimize it again so uh, which uh, it's quite good you just put everything at the bottom as uh, it would normally do on a laptop if uh, you click on that so it will show all the tabs you have open you can just uh, jump straight to one you want to go to or just uh, close it and uh, another thing you can do here just uh, maximize that you can have a uh, drag it at the, on the corner there and then you can have either that or you can just uh, have uh, a in your document open on the on the corner then have that on the side side by side which allow you to browse both uh, so at the moment i've got two tab i can close one so if i click on uh, the tutorial section okay from here you can uh, use the pen to draw. I'm just gonna take the pen and then from here you can just write. You can make it bigger. And then I can type in. Okay. And there. I can go back. And then get a text. If I want, I can just uh, insert a link, say, or just tap and hold and then copy video link and then, and then put it on there. I can just use the mouse. Okay, so where uh, is my documents? So I can just maximize it, and then I can just go to the pen section. And draw. 
friend. You can select that, then move it there. And then it's good for multitask. And as you can see, it's very useful and you can open any image and then drag it and then drag it there there you go you have it there and then you can just resize it if you want and then you'll be able to resize it make it big or small You can write on the pictures. Make notes and then save it. You have the word count there, spelling check. And when you finish, you can either save your documents or close it. As you can see now, more apps are available using uh, in desktop mode. Before there was only a handful, and uh, but now more apps are getting added. So, uh, as you can see, it's very useful and very easy to use uh, as a laptop. You can just open it as normal and then use it as a, a laptop no problem use the mouse so all these apps are open at the bottom you can just quickly jump onto any apps or you just click on that which will take you back to the home screen and um, once you're done you can just tap exit which will take you straight back to the, the tablet mode feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video thank you for watching stay safe and uh, i'll see you on the next one